Hello, this is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com, and today I'm going to show you how to create fades in Logic Pro. This track right here, uh, I did a guitar solo on my keyboard, and at the end, it's a little noise I didn't like, so I wanted to fade it out, so I'm going to show you what it sounds like first. Here it is. Okay, so obviously I don't want the solo to end like that, uh, sounding like that. Uh, what it was on the keyboard, when you hold it, it makes it like a feedback sound. So uh, what I want to do is fade that part out. So I just go up here to my tool, and it's already selected. It's called the Crossfade tool right here, so it's in the top right. And you just click on that, and when you go to the end of a clip, you can see the cursor changes. All right, so basically all you do is you click at the end of the clip and you move the fade how far you want it you know where you wherever you want it to start okay so I'm gonna start it about I think I'm gonna start about right here and then you want to set how the fade you know the whole the slope of the fade uh, you can have it to where it curves and you know slowly or it can just you I mean you, ch you choose you decide how you want it to be but what I'm doing is just basically clicking on this line right here Okay, so I'm going to do mine about right here and see how that sounds. See if it sounds better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So that's how you do that. Now, sometimes you run into a problem. Like, let's say if I want to try a different clip, like this one right here. Okay, now when I go to the end of this clip, you notice the cursor doesn't change like it does up here. And it won't allow me to fade. So you, I'm sure, you know, I know when this first happened to me, I was like, what in the world? Why, why won't it let me fade this clip? But it let me fade this one. So what I found out was if you go here to this little arrow, you pull down this menu, and you go down and select flatten, okay? When you flatten it, then it lets you do it, Okay. So that's the answer to that problem right there, just in case some of y'all are having that problem. Um, so that's how you do it, and you can just fix it however you want to as well. But I don't want the fade actually on this track, but I'm just showing you, uh, just in case you run into that problem, that's what you do. So, once again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com.